welcome everybody to Let's Get Digital, and here I am again, starting yet another video game that I'll probably never finish, but it just came out today and I'm excited, and it's actually, it's almost 11.30 at night, it's a Thursday night, and is that late? No, but I'm an old man, I'm 27 years old, and I don't sleep very well as it is, and so... I'm tired, and I actually wasn't even feeling this at first until I saw this splash screen, and I was like, oh, this is sick, I've got to play this. And so, I kind of hastily set this up, so this first video might not even be that good. I don't even know. I'm hoping I've gotten far enough where I can adjust audio and post. Not a big deal. So, I'm not going to cut my video out of cut screens, cut scenes yet. I just want to hit continue. I'm going to turn up my audio just a little bit. So we can do it computer style too. All right, let's get started. Oh, I'm so ready. I freaking loved New Vegas. I had too many options at the end, so I never finished it. Because it's like, you can take over, the NCR can take over, the Caesar's Legion can take over. I can't remember. It's like, and then you got to decide all the people you want to survive or not. Uh, you're not signed into Xbox Live Cloud Services. Cloud saves are unavailable. I can cloud save this? I've got to see. I bet you there's already comparison videos uh, to see if this plays better on PC or on Xbox One X. Because I've noticed, personally, when I play Gears of War, even though when I play through my monitor on my um, PC in 1440p, it doesn't look as good as when I push it through my capture card, which is only 1080p, just looks more crisp. It's the weirdest thing. I just don't think they optimize it for PC very well. Um, I should be signed into Xbox Live, so that's fine. I, I don't. I don't care. Cross saves though. That actually excites me because 1440p video takes up so much space. It's insane. So we're gonna see how long I want to record this because even just yeah, 1080p to 1440 is just insane. Oh, you know what, actually, uh, let's continue this. Um, one thing really quick, I like to always check. So full screen, blah, 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 frame rate, unlimited, should be good. Um, you know what I hate? Motion blur. That's just the dumbest thing. And then there's a second thing I hate. Can you even? Yeah, let's go ultra, baby. <laughs> uh, gamma, is that? I'm just going to embarrass myself if I say that. I should do some vertical sync too, and I'll just destroy my frame rates. I won't do vertical sync this first time. I, need, I mean, I've got a 2080 Ti. No, just a 2080. And I've got a 3900X. So, I should be good hardware-wise. 32 gigs of RAM. Um, storage. I mean, there probably won't be any left when I'm done with this video. I only have like 200 gigs left, and seriously, 1440p just takes up so much. So... Um, motion blur is off. Film grain is what I was looking for. Gamma, I think, is kind of like contrast, right? Oof. I'm gonna, sorry, guys. I'm going to out myself. Anyway. Uh, no, 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 no. Keep, keep. Whoa. Man, they only gave me like half a second. It's got to tell me every two seconds. New game. New game. Uh, let's see. Players are looking for an extra challenge. In hard mode, enemies have more health and do more damage. Just remember for your first play session, in normal mode, enemies have standard health and damage. So, you know what, I'm sorry that I'm a normie, but if I'm going to try to cut these videos up into like 15 minute segments, um, then I gotta just go normal. Whoa! Was that the- oh, wait. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? In the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. Well, I don't know how much I like that. Will feel like mere minutes. Thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. That's pretty cool. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own service and become the master of your own business. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon colony. Halcyon? Is it Halcyon? That loading screen, you guys, that just blew my freaking mind. You see that? It was like a split second. I know I've got a, like a M2 drive or whatever. Like I've got a really good drive, but you guys, that 
blew my world. I don't know if you guys were around for when Fallout 3 would take like two minutes or more to load, especially on freaking 360 and PlayStation took forever. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be watching this. Okay, so he's a fugitive. He's wanted by, I'm gonna say Halcyon. Uh, I don't know why he's wanted by Halcyon. I imagine he's a scientist. He's like Christopher Walken. I don't know if he gets played by him or not. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay. I was reading it. My headphones aren't in great. And... Oh, what did I do? Oh, no. Wait. Okay. No! What did I do? Did I skip anything? Okay, outside of this video, I'm going to go back and see if I skipped anything on accident. Because I accidentally hit F11 when I was trying to reach and fix my headphones because I just missed. I was only reading the subtitles. You know, old old headphones. Don't worry, I've got wireless ones coming in the mail so I can just wear those. But you know how it's... Okay, well, too many young people won't know. But anyway, you, you don't plug it in just 100% correct and then it's like you get most... Like I was getting the music so I thought it was going. But I'm going to have to watch that intro again on my own. That's fine. Uh, body strength, um, intelligence. A genius. And the board was going to leave you to rot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. They've kind of streamlined this. I get really indecisive with this stuff. And I'm like, oh man, like dexterity was always good for, uh, I thought it like, it used to be, I thought for repair, but maybe that's, uh, maybe that's for, uh, I don't, I, I don't even remember. This Pretty much, I'm just gonna do this. A, Sorry. <laughs> max intelligence, max charm, because I love dialogue options and I love just trying to be the good guy and like talking people out of stuff or resolving things without violence. Why do you play video games for that? I don't know, okay? I, I, you kill so many people anyway. It's refreshing to be able to talk somebody off of a ledge or stop two people from shooting each other. That's that's my perception. And then when I need to, I got 35% critical hit damage. I'll just blow their freaking head off. It doesn't matter. So there's so many other times to go through where you could just be a sneaky strong guy. You could just do like these top two. Or you could, um, you could do... Yeah, you could do just the top two. You don't have to talk to anybody, or you just fight your way through. Don't even care. Um, so I thought I hit next. Wait. Modify your attributes to choose what come you like your specialized in. Below, beware. Leave. beware. Below average attributes come with the penalty. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't even care. So I don't care about melee. Um, handguns. Let's see what this is. Ranged weapon skill. Handgun skill decreases weapon sway while firing one-handed firearms. It also increases critical hit chance with those weapons. So I do love me some handguns. Just wheeling and dealing, freaking with pistols. That's pretty sweet. Um, oh man, are you for real? So I have to do, even though I just did charm, I have to do dialogue too? Oh shoot. This is what I'm. This is the first video. It's just me deciding even what kind of character I want to be. This is insane. Well, I just said before, I like to be intelligent. It gives me a critical hit chance, and then I like charm. So I should, I guess, just <laughs> I like charm. So I should stick with that kind of theme. Um, I like handguns, though. I only get two skills. That's so stupid. I want all the skills. Oh, shoot. Okay. What if I was a super charismatic freaking pistol wielder? Just like, this is kind of like the Wild West meets sci fi, right? Well, that's kind of the idea. I don't know. Um, so I could be that guy that I'm like, I could do persuade. 
because the persuade skill used is used in conversations and also has a chance to inflict cower crippling fear when you first damage a human target so i could shoot someone and they'd be like i'm sorry and i'd be like no 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 it's too late <laughs> and, then, and then if i shoot him with the handgun that's called hard killer i feel like I feel like I want to do long guns because I will use that more. Let's go back. Let me see what I did. Okay, I'm taking way too long. Let's do handguns, right? Oh, wait. A oh, I get everything? I just did all that for no reason. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's late, okay? <laughs> Oh, I'm so dumb sometimes. Okay, I'll just do dialogue too. Uh, I don't care about that too stuff. I do like sneaking though. Nope, I'm gonna still stick with the freaking Willin and Dylan. Pow, 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 and cower in front of me while I shoot your face off. Sure, sneak is. I probably use sneak more. Um, well, in this gameplay, I'll probably try to play a little bit quicker, so I probably won't sneak as much. And I think probably tech is more. Uh, is more useful. What's this leadership one though? The inspiration skill increases the damage inflicted by your companions. I don't even know how many companions I'll get and traditionally I like companions for their companionship not necessarily what they add into a fight. So leadership skill, the determination skill increases the maximum health of your companions. So that just means they have more health. I hope they don't like permanently die. That's gonna be real sad. I'm gonna get all attached to them. No, this, I would say this is pretty good. This is pretty good. It sucks that there's no, like, uh, well, that I know of yet, like, laser weapons. But um, I like to do dialogue, and I like to be able to max out my skill points early on. So, actually, let's see. Can I put... Some people are rough around the edges. You're oh, no, I can only do... <laughs> What's this negative one? Oh, dear. Someone vandalized your hibernation chamber. Companion... Companion, ability refresh, positive faction reputation reactions, negative faction reputation reactions. So <laughs> you could be a blumbering idiot. You could take everything down and just max out those two. That would be pretty hilarious. I bet you there's people who do that. I wonder if you've ever considered I'm average. I'm average. Pictures. So we're good. Let's keep going with this. Let's keep going with this. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> I just need to play games late at night when I'm tired all the time I just did this with ReCore but with ReCore I was so tired I just didn't talk I'm tired now and all I'm doing is talking and if anyone even watches this video they'd be like bro just pick a thing just move on so no discernible aptitude colonist Colonist sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to be useful to Halcyon. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't care. Okay, beverage service technician. So let's say I'm a wheelin' dealin', charm stealin', pistol shootin', beverage service technician. Bartender. The, the, the Halcyon colony needs good people, but it will settle for ones who can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you've been, oh, you've made concoctions that could end wars or fuel ship drive or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old fashioned though. Uh, drink effect duration is uh, three percent. No, I don't need that. Bureaucrat rank zero. That sounds boring, and I get a block plus one. Let's just read it. Birth certificates included. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, okay, cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory. <laughs> so, I'm like this dude who hasn't fulfilled his full potential, just like real life. <laughs> and I'm this, like, unassuming cashier, and... Then it turns out I'm actually a badass with a gun, and all this talk with uh, customers on the day-to-day -day has uh, really upped my charm, my persuasion. Quick funny story for you guys. When is my stories ever quick? I used to work at Kohl's, and I remember I always wanted to be put on the men's section because there's a men's section and there's a women's section. 
and I wanted to be on the men's section because I was a dude and I wanted to look at clothes that I could potentially buy like when I had the chance on the women's side it was just there's nothing and my supervisor's name was Adam and uh so funny I'd be like dude like please put me over there like <laughs> I didn't hate it over there but on the women's side I, there's just it was just more boring that's it there's just like anyway and he's all bro He's like, but you're sweet talking all those honeys. He's like, all these ladies that come in here, and they happen to be a little bit older. And this was probably like eight or nine years ago, so I was like, just like late teen or something like that. And he's all, bro. He's like, you just selling that credit to those honeys. They freaking love it. He's like, I can't put you on the men's side. He's like, because you don't sell as many credit cards there. That's the other thing with Kohl's, dude. It's like it's an evil corporate company, and you have to sell credit cards. And it even got so bad that. They'd be like, we'll cut your hours if you don't sell enough credit cards. And they just used all the wrong uh, tactics and stuff like that. Even on, they make you come in on Black Friday and then they would cut you if you didn't. And I'd be like, bruh, people probably don't want to sell credit cards. So they don't have to be here like after Thanksgiving. Long story. But yeah, I just, I think about that. It's like, and I literally was a cashier and I had to persuade people. So I'm, <laughs> I'm probably going to choose this one. I'm going to look at these other ones. I'm probably not going to read them all because I just spent five minutes telling a story that no one's ever going to listen to. But yeah, freaking Adam making me sell credit cards to them honeys, to them older ladies. They loved it. Um, okay. So construction, electrician class, wire spooler. Let's read this one real quick. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that Team Spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. That's like the Jazz Bear. I'm from Utah. I've said that in other videos. And the Jazz Bear, he's the Jazz Bear for like 50 years or something. I don't know, for a long time. And then I don't know if they just fired him. It's like, well, who did they fire? You just know they fired the Jazz Bear, but you don't know, like, who the person behind the mask is. So that actually kind of makes me a little sad. So medical plus one. I don't really care about that. Safety inspector, plasma damage received minus... There is going to be plasma guns! Yes! I kind of knew there had to be, right? If this is just Fallout. Well, a better version of Fallout. Holy freaking crap. Uh, science plus one. Blah. No, 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 no. Cashier subgrade, non-supervisory. That that about sums me up, I mean. I might require you to push a few buttons. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... That default's actually pretty cool. But I am a dude, so I'll play a dude. And... I mean, I hate to... Oh my... Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? I love the customization, but bruh. So I am white, but I have a little bit of tint. So it happens from being a, a European mutt. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. This takes so long. <laughs> Head. Oh. Uh, no. 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 Oh, no. I don't know about this. No. 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 Well, I might have to. That's a twink right there. Alex, you can see in my jowls. And, uh,. My forehead. I really match this guy, so that might be the one that I choose. But this is fantasy, so maybe I want to be a twink. Uh, no, no, and I don't want to be a twink. I'm just gonna nip that in the bud right here and now. Uh, maybe I can try to work with that one. Um, the other one, not that guy. Not that guy's actually not that bad. Maybe this one. This one looks a little bit less depressing, but I mean, life. Or art imitates life, right? So maybe I'll maybe I'll be this depressing looking old man because that is what I am. Let's do some brown eyes. It doesn't look brown to me. That's like not. Can they just like so just make oh those blue eyes actually kinda cool. Whoa, those gray eyes look crazy. That's kinda like brown eyes. Uh brow horizontal. Oh my god. Oh no. Well, I guess my eyebrows are pretty close together. Brow forward? You guys, I don't even know. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Mouth vertical. 
Uh, ew. Mouth size. Got a big mouth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, nose tilt, nose size, nose width. Guys, like, I don't really, I don't really want. This is making me too depressed. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Wait. No. No, I lost it. That's pretty cool, but no. No. Okay, so. I don't know who this would represent as far as my friends go. This would be Samasake's hair. This would be Lifehack's hair. Now let's find J2Digital's hair. No. Uh, unfortunately, this would probably be J2Digital's hair. I just have less of it. This is like the, uh, that's like kind of like a more calmed down version of the Wastelander hair, if anyone's familiar with that. Uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that one, this is like, I gotta tilt my screen. It's, maybe it's not bright enough with all my other competing light in here. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. No. I could see Samasaka choosing that one too, potentially. Uh, no, no, well, no, no. Um, how did they mimic the uh, the Bethesda game launcher or game engine so well at this? I mean, it still looks better because how could it not? It's like I don't have any programming experience, and you give me twenty years, I could probably come up with something that looks better than that but now that i've oh my gosh well i mean if we're going to be real this is probably the closest thing to me this would be the will and this would be badass looking actually i'm too much of a pansy so i won't do it but think of a dude who is super persuasive he's just a freaking cashier and he's got a pistol pointed at your head as you're cowering come on come on that's 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 actually pretty badass uh but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm too much of a wuss. So I'm too, I'm pretty generic looking in real life. I got to stay true to that. <laughs> Boy, I should do this one. <laughs> He's like, oh, hell no, not today. <laughs> You're going to get a ball at sun. Uh, okay. Can we get like some darker brown with some maybe white speckles in it for uh, the gray hairs that I have? Not dandruff. It's not dander. There's 42. There's 50 of these. Oh my gosh. No, no. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tell my coworkers, I'm like, did you play yesterday? I'm like, yeah, I freaking played. All I did was create my character and then I went to bed because it took me an hour. Uh, no, please no. I'm like, I'm not that bad. Come on. Oh man, this is just making, oh man, just make it stop. It's like every third or fourth, they just sneak in that unibrow and it just, I'm not in it. Ugh, no, 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 uh, let's see, I'll just do that, screw it, facial hair, let's see how close we can get it to my facial hair, a little bit of scruff, that's kind of close, let's see, okay, mm, no, thank you, so far three is kind of winning, he's like, I'm a cool guy, but I'm, you know, kind of sexy cool guy, let's see, oh, no, oh, oh, now listen here, son. You don't deserve what you, what I'm about to deliver you. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just think, oh no, I just think, make it stop. That's badass too. Oh man. Oh man. I had a, I had a mustache like that. Didn't look nearly as that cool. It comes out too far. I didn't shave right here, so it came all the way out, and it just. I have, I have no skill with that type of stuff, so I just got to shave it. Um, oh, oh, well. Uh, I could also see. Well, that's actually kind of, well, that's kind of cool. I could see myself doing that. I had kind of a longer beard. It was actually even longer, but I screwed that up too, so I also shaved that. Keep it short is kind of what I've learned. Um, honestly, this is probably the closest but I don't like how pubic that looks. Can I zoom in? No. Um, that, that looks a little too puby for me. 
I bet you you'll be well, maybe I'll just do the big maybe I'll just do that beard. It looks like a responsible adult, right? His hair's a little bit different on the top than it is on the sides. My hair's pretty close to the same size. I guess it's a little darker maybe down here than it is up here. Or a lot. Uh, you know, if you're gonna be a badass wielding pistol dueling uh cashier with dreads. I mean, you gotta have the mustache to back it. Well, it's like, well, that actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't like how freaking shiny his hair... Oh, my gosh. I keep forgetting about that one. Uh, that one actually doesn't look that bad, honestly. This is, this is what I should do, but I couldn't pull off that hairstyle in real life, so I'm envious of my video game avatar, so it can't have it either. Um... I could pull something like that off, unfortunately. Uh, that's really not that bad either. Um, let's see, if he, if I were him, and I were to do this, whoosh, I guess that would be, because he would have to take, see, my hair's going this way, and here's, his hair's going that way, so it's like, this is like the perfect mirror, you guys. So it's a toss-up real quick between this and, okay, so I'm on, I'm on 19... Versus, like, what, like, two or something? Stupid. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, no, that is not. Oh. This is just too damn long, isn't it? Okay. Uh, or it's this one, but the lighting is... I think it's just reversed uh, the other way. Um, where's my... I'm gonna be on this side. So let's just go with 19. Let's go with 19. I'm not trying to make it picture perfect, obviously. This guy's a dapper Dan. This dude's a freaking cold heart, cold hearted killer with a heart of gold that's also cold. And, uh, and he would soon rather you surrender like a true gentleman than have to pop a cap in your ass. But it's the West in the future, so he's just gonna do what he's gotta do. Uh, hairstyle, like hair color, I mean. I don't feel like. It's just, I don't feel like this is exactly what I want, but that's all right. Well, let's see if I can just get like a, uh, it's just so hard to see on my monitor right now. Now I'm probably in like the weird colors. Okay, let's just start over. Windows is going to say I'm out of space. Windows going to say I'm out of space. Out of space. Out of space. Because I was figuring out my hairstyle. Let's just do it. Let's just move on with it. Makeup, are you for real? Oh my gosh, no. He's going to stay cleaned up. Sorry. He's smart. He's charming. He's not going to do that, but has he had close calls in life? I was waiting for the I-1. There's always an I-1. That's kind of cool. Oh, no, it's not. No, he's kind of a pretty boy. I'm going for pretty boy. I'm going for... Well, that actually... This one kind of looks cool. This. I could see this guy. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm probably, like, right here. Anyway, let's just... We go back in age just a little bit. Just kidding. I'd have to choose like some of those little baby face boys. I'm not gonna do that. This is good. I had it 20 minutes ago. I'm sorry. This is what happens when you ask me to make a bunch of decisions consistently. I like at first I'm like pretty confident, and then I start second guessing, and it's crazy. It's just man. No, that's it. Uh, yeah, see, I could have just done all this at the beginning. Uh, so, do I add anything now? This is my summary. I'm, I am not a sneaky gentle. I'm not a sneaky man because I'm a gentleman and a cashier. You're not, what do you, why would I need to be sneaky as a cashier? Uh, science, I don't know why I need to be smart as a cashier <laughs> either. My story's unraveling. Okay, um, we're good. Yeah. No!
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Every day is his lucky day, because he's got friends everywhere. I keep thinking my phone's going off. I got a new phone. The case is horrible, but it's the Pixel 4. People have been dumping on it. I'm pretty excited. Not likely, bootlickers. Ha 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 No! Initiate skip jump. Ooh, skip jump. I like that better than hyperspace. I don't even know. Go super speed, faster than light. I just want a little bit of audio, but I still kind of want to hear what's going on around me. Terra 2. Orbiting laboratory system. Oh no, ship is damaged. Well, most of our integrity is good. Skip drive. Yeah. Sounds precarious. Okay. Well, this is going to give me lots to work with here. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies of course. in you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Hmm. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Hmm. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! I like this guy. You know, it's... <laughs> Even if he ends up being a bad guy, I like him. He's a cool guy. I like how eccentric he is. I was about to say, I'm so sick of these games. Okay, let's just let's just see. All right, this loading screen's a little bit longer. This is more what I'm used to. Can you um, hear me? Is still, this thing working? ten seconds, fifteen ah, seconds. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind, ship that sort of thing. No. Like him. I'm sure. That's me. I've also There's not enough space in us, this universe, for two of us. Progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all colonists are counting on you. So it's probably a, a debate, right? This dude is probably using me. There's probably no colonists. This, it's like, I get that. I get that I'm probably being bamboozled, okay? But I like the idea of it, because I'm sick of like, I don't remember Fallout 3. No, Fallout 3 people lived, because they were just in the vault. Fallout 4, everyone dies, and the wife dies, and it's kind of like stupid. Wow, so pretty. Ah, you good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. I told you. Hawthorne I... won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Nasty way to go. Reminds me of Hot Fuzz. So, even though there's probably not going to be any colonists, even though this dude's a crazy mad scientist and he's just using me for something evil, um, I like him. So I might go along with his harebrained schemes. Who knows? Just because you're a charming guy and you want to do kind of the by right doesn't mean, you know, you might agree with the villain. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty sad that this guy got freaking... <laughs> just smushed immediately but did I call it I said there's not enough space in this universe 
in my broken English for the two of us. I'm the gunslinger, one of a kind spaceship. So this is the universe working itself out. There's like almost two of me and one of us had to die and it was this guy, luckily. And you know, maybe it could be me. So, um, game looks gorgeous, to, in my opinion, because I'm comparing it against Fallout games. And sure, Fallout 4 looked pretty good. I don't want to be too judgy. Um, I am going to have to work with settings a little bit, see what my frame rates are. Um, and he does want me to steal the ship. But I've been playing for like 40 minutes now. This is probably going to be a really long YouTube video. I appreciate everyone's patience if you guys hung out with me as I kind of got set up. I'm going to try to trim that down, of course. Oh, that's going to be so tedious. Um, but I like this so far. And I like the idea, I guess I was going to say before, I have this hope that there are still some colonists. Because in Fallout 4, it's a little... Uh, deflating just everyone else dying and then even in overwatch they all went into like sleep space and then may wakes up like i watched her little digital short and everyone else is dead again and i was like i'm just kind of like sick of that soul survivor feeling thing obviously we're not because this crazy scientist guy is helping us well more like he's we're, he's probably using us we're helping him rip uh if i had one i'd pour one for my homie got some water but that's not the same uh so anyway hey <laughs> I don't even know what I'm on about. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys hopefully sooner rather than later for part two. And I'll keep a little bit better track of time next time. All right. Peace out.